So hello and welcome and we are continuing with analytical geometry revision. Uh, the next question is question number five and it reads determine whether or not the following points are collinear. So here's something we need to do. We need to start talking about what exactly collinear points are, right? So for this I'm going to use an example and I'm going to say well simply it just means that the points are on the same straight line. The points are on the same the same line, right? They must be on the same straight line. So let's get a let's get a shape up there. Let's get a little bit of a blue line or a red line. So there's a line. And if I were to take three points and I say, well, not red, let's make the points blue. I've got a point over there. I can consider that point A. And I can consider this over here point B. And I can consider this over here point C. Now, as you can see, the gradient from A to B is identical to the gradient from B to C. In other words, if I run one unit, I'll rise the same amount, run, rise, same thing, right? So we can see the slope from A to B is identical to the slope from B to C. Now, if they're in the same straight line, we need to verify that the gradient of AB is equal to the gradient of BC, which is also equal to the gradient of AC. If I were to take a line like so, and I have three points again, let's make our points blue, or let's make it black. A little bit limited for colors here. And I say this is point P, this is point Q, and this is point R. Right. So PQR are, is a straight line, right? Or PQQR. And we can also conclude that these points are collinear. In other words, they fall on the same straight line. So now there's an important condition for collinear points. It says, well, if A, B, and C are collinear, then the M of A, B must be equal to M of BC, which must also be equal to M of AC. So we've got to check each of these individually. So let's get into that. So now, by now you've seen, if, seen us calculate the gradients a few times. Let's take the gradient between B and A. And I'll take B's first and then move to A's. Remember the gradient formula is just M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So let's start with MAB, right? MAB is going to be 8 minus minus 8 divided by 1 minus minus 3, right? And what does that give us? 8 plus 8 is going to be 16, and 1 plus 3 is going to be 4, and therefore we can conclude that the gradient of MAB is positive 4. So what about the gradient of BC? Let's do that over here, MBC. MBC, let's take the C's first. Again, we work with the Y values and we say 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8. And what do I get? Um, and then the next one is going to be 3 minus 1, which is going to be 8 on top divided by 2, and that gives me 4. Now, well, we've checked between A and B, and we've checked between B and C, and that makes sense. So, if the gradients are the same, they will lie on the same straight line. For further proof, you can conclude and check A and C. And let's do that over there. MAC is going to be, let's take the C's first, 16 minus minus 8 divided by 16 minus minus 8 and then 3 minus minus 3. And what does that give me? That gives me 16 plus 8 is going to be 24, and 3 plus 3 is going to be 6, and 24 divided by 6 is 4. Now we can say because the gradient of M, A, B, or the gradient between A and B is the same as the gradient between B and C, which is exactly the same as the gradient between A and C, I can conclude that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Right, therefore, A, oops, seems like I'm drunk there. Therefore, A, B, and C are collinear. Right, okay, there we go, and that concludes question number five.